Yo, what it is? What's poppin', gang, man? It's your boy, Kawiza, man. Hey, bro, I'm back at it, bro, and I got a new topic for y'all today, man. I got a new topic, man. A lot of people been asking me questions on why I haven't been, you know, um, dealing with exotic bread, man. A lot of people have been wanting to know a lot of different stories on, you know, how do I feel about the company? Ever since there's been so much going on and so much controversy um, within the brand itself. So um, today I'm going to give you guys a couple insights on the reason on why I stopped you know, dealing with exotic bread, the reason on why I kind of parted ways on my own and decided that um, I no longer want to do business with them. But yeah, before we go ahead and get into that, man, make sure y'all do me one favor, man. Make sure y'all go ahead and like the video, man. If y'all not really subscribed to the channel, man, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button because I'm the only, I'm one of the only ones that's going to come out here and give you 100%, you know, authentic, you know, genuine honest you know my opinion on things and reviews on things like I, I, how i feel about things and i'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing you know what i'm saying so um yeah we about to go ahead and get into that man right now bro i am came from uh, on the daily tv man he hit me up bro astro eight man i think that's what it is right yeah astro eight man it's one of the ogs that they have man it's a live resin man one gram and this stuff is really good though i ain't gonna lie to you but First, start off at the beginning. When we first started business, um, I already seen that he was having some type of like, you know, altercations with other reviewers, other can, you know, other other people like other people like myself, you know, um, that's either ordering packages or you know receiving packages from him for you know reviews and things like that. It's his professionalism is very off, man. I'm first. Off, I'm gonna say that his professionalism is off. Um, I understand the game. You wanna you wanna present yourself as real. You wanna present yourself as you know. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for you know. Whoop de whoop de. You know whoop de wada. Whatever that you wanna call it. Amount of years. But at the end of the day, you may have the street smarts about things about the business. But the thing is, you gotta be able not to talk to people for one. You gotta be able to talk to people, cause nobody gonna want um, somebody like myself. I'm not gonna want nobody to come talking to me no type of way. Cause we, I, we had a conversation, me and a guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I don't give a damn. Um, and if anybody got something to say, or uh, even him himself, you know, for watching this video, got something to say. Like I said, I ain't got no beef with nobody. I ain't got no harm with dude. I just distance myself from dude. I'm gonna put that out there first. I distance myself out for you know from dude before it got to a situation where. I gave him a piece of my mind or he may, you know, he would tell me something that I wouldn't pretty much like, but it's just, I seen how you reacting and acting with everyone else, you know, giving them, you know, run arounds, telling them this, that, and the other, you going on live talking about, you know, people bashing you or the bad comments at the end of the day, you have a business shit is going to be, you know, it's not going to be how you expect for it to be. In order for you to be great, you actually have to work to be great. You can't just jump off the couch and be like, oh, my shit going to be great because it's great to me. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Just like I'm doing this shit right here. Some people may find this interesting and, and a great thing, you know, to watch from me. You know, me telling this to you guys. Some people may watch this, but some people may not like, well, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to deal with that. It is what it is. Like I said, it's not for everybody. Uh, and that's why I say a lot about, about a lot of companies, too. I don't just... I, I don't just go with a company because he say or she say is good. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let you know the truth. I want to know for myself if it's good. I don't just work with any and every company. I don't. I don't. I When I first started, uh, when I first started, I was pretty much, you know, looking for, looking for you know, companies to come, you know, work with. That's that's a difference. You know, that, that, that's, that's, that's different. You know, right? I was in a grind mode of, you know, looking for sponsors, you know, looking for people to, you know, Believe me and trust in me on actually reviewing their products. And it took time for me to do what I was doing and get used to things. But back to I'm, I'm, I'm back onto the topic. Um, I was just really pretty much like I, I can't see myself dealing with somebody that doesn't have the customer service that they're supposed to have and the professionalism that they're supposed to have because like i said if i come talk to you and you give me some if you give me a negative vibe you only got one time across me 
I'm going to just put it out there. You only got one time to cross me. I don't give people second chances, third chances, none of that. No. At the end of the day, we all grown. We all know wrong from right. Just because, just like if I was to hurt somebody, deep down inside, y'all not going to want to trust me. You're not going to want to trust me. If I lie to y'all right now, y'all ain't going to want to trust me. So at the end of the day, what's the point of capping for the, the point of line? That's the reason why, like, for example, Gates said in his uh, in a recent interview about the you know DJ Envy asked him about how do he feel about or why did he say those words towards Beyonce in his uh, Super General freestyle? He asked like, why did you say those words in the Super General freestyle towards Beyonce, another man's wife? I'm gonna tell y'all something. I got a wife myself. I'd be a goddamn fool. I'd be a fool if I don't think other men and women, you know, look at mines and be like, I want that. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that may, I'm going to be honest, that make me feel good. Like, I got a bad, I got a bad thing on the side of me. You feel me? At the end of the day, it's just like, you'd be a fool if you think your man or your woman, nobody else is looking at that person. You know what I'm saying? Nobody else wanna nobody be undressing that person. You know what I'm saying? I'd be a fool if I was to think that that you know nobody want minds. And she would be a fool to think that nobody, you know, wants me or look at me in that certain type of aspect. But it's just that this is the mindset. All he did was just say what a lot of people were, you know, you know, what a lot of people been thinking. And to be honest with you, I stand on all that. A lot of people were scared to speak on, you know, what's the truth because they're too afraid of what the outcome may be. Fuck what people got to think, what people got to say, period. If you say what you got to say and you stand on all 10 of it, no matter what, no matter what you say, no matter what you do, people are going to know. They can respect you and they, they can understand because you're not going to tell no bullshit. You're not going to tell no lies. That's why a lot of people respect Booster so much because at the end of the day, he don't tell no lies. Y'all know he not telling no lies. Yeah, it may hurt. Some shit may hurt from him. That may come out his mind. It may be hurtful. He shouldn't have said it that way. But at the end of the day, sometimes things need to be heard in a in a in a in a vulgar type way. You know what I'm saying? In a in a disrespectful manner. But sometimes truth gotta be told somehow. And sometimes telling it nice, people still don't get that nice shit. But yeah, man, this. Like I said, I be falling off topic, but it's little things that that be ticking me off about certain things. And with exotic bread, man, I'm gonna tell y'all one. I'm gonna tell y'all one thing. I got some bud from him, and it was the last package that I received from. Him. I got some bud. What I did was, I said before I smoke this, I'm gonna let the. I opened it up, smelled it. You know what I'm saying? Smelled decent. You know, smelled earthy, smelled piney. You know, that's the type of bud it was. So what I did was, I put it off to the side, and this was the um. What strain was that? Oh. If I can't, I'll think about it. I'll put the pack up right here for you guys. Um, I couldn't think of the name of it. I can't think of the name of it right now because I'm not home right now. But um, it was one of the strains I let sit for about at least two months. And I just let it sit. I just let it sit in the package, in the pouch. Not an open. Um, maybe open. Just open that once to go ahead and review and smell it. That was all. Um, after after about two months later on, I came back to it. I opened up and I smelled it. Normally, you know, you get that somewhat that same smell of the bud, or you get some type of smell, or you you know, of course, bud gets old. But a month or two, and it's smelling like ass. Like it's not even like smelling like your normal bud that's been sitting down and or you say you got it in a in a in a sandwich bag and you you didn't put it in a jar. You just have it sitting in a sandwich bag, like. You still get some type of smell up in there. Sometimes you, you may lose some of the smell, but you still got some of you break that nugget open. Nah, when I tell y'all, I, I kid y'all not, man, I broke the shit open, bro. I don't know what he's doing per se, but I don't want to put anything in my body that's gonna harm me. And um, I've seen, I've seen other people who's become sick. Um, another thing is the paperwork doesn't add up. Like the lab, like the lab work, that shit don't add up at all. It don't add up at all. I was looking at the lab work on them things, man. I was like, what? 
Then if you go online and you go to you go to the YouTube, you know, not go to YouTube. If you go online on Google and you type some of the things up that he's pulling up, you can do the same exact thing. You can go and edit those same exact lab results. You know what I'm saying? I felt like a lot of things was forged because if we have if you have legitimate paperwork like some of these other companies I've been working with, like for example, who can I say? Capital Him. Capital Him, bro. They have legitimate paperwork. You know what I'm saying? Um, who else was it? Phantom Cannabis. I haven't done a review on their bud, but I've posted it on my social media. And if you guys haven't seen, go check it out. Um, they sent me every last detail of their lab results. And as cannabis reviewers, we want to see those results, even though we might not really look at the paperwork, review it, and look over it right at the time when we're reviewing the product. We're going to eventually look at it. And I think that's what a lot of them, I think that's what he thought. He was just like, they really don't care about the people. They just want just the weed. They want just the weed. And maybe you're right. In some aspects, some people may be like that. They, oh, they don't want to see the paperwork. They just want to smoke the weed. Well, I've graduated from just accepting anything and just inhaling anything. Because there's so much shit going on in this world right now. It's hard to trust. And people doing a lot of shady shit, a lot of shifty shit, and I, I just, I, I'm just not with it. And like I said, the disrespect towards other people, and the disrespect, like I haven't gotten any disrespect from because at the end of the day, when, we, when the first conversation when we spoke, you know what I'm saying? Um, I stood on all ten. Yeah, you're not gonna come. You know, it wasn't no chest for chest type shit nah you know i let you know what it is you know what i'm saying i'm we're gonna we're gonna talk this business you know yeah but that's what it's gonna be and if you got any problems with anything don't bring that shit to social media don't that that shit for for the birds you heard me i don't argue with people i don't argue with meeting males or females i don't argue i don't like to argue i don't like confrontation i just take it there yeah i don't i don't like talking i don't like because i'm i'm not a bad I, i'm a bad arguer you know what I'm saying? You will win the argument every time. But when it comes to the, you know, yeah, I'm a, I'm going to stand on all 10, I promise you. Um, So with that being said, like I said, I just pretty much wanted to leave the situation alone. I didn't want to go ahead and open up a can of worms that I didn't want to have to close on somebody. You know what I'm saying? And I just felt like staying my distance. He was, you know, a lot of people been coming to me. It's like, hey, I placed an order. Uh, my order hasn't been uh, shipped out. Or the guy took my money, he haven't sent my package because of, you know, he feeling some type of way about something, haven't heard any information. Like, it's a whole bunch of little itty bitty small shit. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Like, if you doing these people like this, what makes you think that you're not going to try to fuck me in the long run? You know what I'm saying? So there's a reason why I, I watch things like that. And like I said, some situations I back myself away from because I don't want to be put in a situation where I have to take myself to, to a different place and take myself out of element out of the element that I'm already in you know and I'm not trying to do any of that you know and I just feel like it was just too much going on and with all this back and forth him going on live talking about this that and the other person talking about these fucking haters and this and that you're gonna have haters if you don't have haters you ain't doing nothing right and at the end of the day it's just his approach on business that kind of steered me away and you know i'm i'm as real as it's gonna get but at the end of the day i'm professional as it's gonna get it's gonna as it's gonna get too um i may not be the best professional person you know out there but i'm working on myself to become way more professional and when there's criticism involved instead of turning instead of turning red and interacting in a asshole way to negative comments and turning that shit around and you know kill him with kindness you know what i'm saying and at least listen to what those people are saying instead of just going off at the mouth at the mouth and just saying oh fuck them there's some haters they this and that listen to what sometimes those people be saying you know what i'm saying sometimes they may not be trying to just be an asshole to you they're trying to tell you something to fix within yourself or your business and i'm they're not i'm not telling you people let people run your business that's not what i'm saying it's sometimes when you run a business certain things like they said, sometimes the customer is always right, bro. Even, like I said, you got a business, the customer is always right, bro. Like, 
Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying to be a pushover or just let anybody come up in there and try to dictate how you should do shit. But taking ideas and applying it in your own way and changing something can change a whole lot in the future. But I guess a lot of a lot of business owners or people that's trying to start a business, they just want to be, you know, it's my shit. It's a good shit. Yeah. No, it don't work like that, man. Like I said, not everybody gonna rock with you. Not everybody gonna bump with you. And at the beginning, I was rocking with him. I was cooling with all the shit that was going on. You know what I'm saying? We had a solid, you know, connection where it was just, it was cool and on business level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's strictly what it was. But I see how you acting with everybody else. It just makes me believe, like, what make you, what make me, what makes me think that you're not gonna do that same thing to me. And on the last package, he had wanted something about a review. I, I posted like the fish scale. I posted the blue waffle. Um, I posted some concentrate and stuff like that. And I was still posting, but I'm still working with other companies too. So at the end of the day, I'm breaking shit off. And I'm working with everybody at once and making everybody happy at once. But he wanted to be greedy because, oh, I wasn't posting the content fast enough. At the end of the day, I work at my own pace. I don't tell you when to when to push weed out. I don't tell you when to go ahead and sip a package out. I don't tell you none of that. I don't tell you how to run your business. So don't come over here and try to dictate nothing. All I said was, either you're going to wait or I'm not going to do it at all. It's going to come. Straight up. That's all I told him. I said, I'm, it's going to come. You just got to give it some time. You got to give it some time. I'm not about to rush because you want me to do so. No, you don't rush because nobody else wants you to do something on your on your business. So don't come over here and try to dictate what I should be doing. You feel me? Don't play that game with me, man. But you guys wanted to know, man. I know it's, a, it's been a long time coming, man. I was supposed to been going and tell you guys about this, man. Um, I was just looking for a better way to explain myself. And because I'm still learning on how to basically talk more and talk more professional and not be stuttering over my words or stumbling over words or anything like that man i'm just trying to get more comfortable talking and you guys have been helping me doing that man do that man for the past two years and i greatly appreciate that man like you guys have really been helping me you know as far as you know coming along talking to you guys and you guys been understanding me you know commenting back and talking with you boy man i greatly appreciate that but um yeah that's the one of the reasons why like i said i stopped messing with exotic bread um i'm thinking about doing a part two to the um my favorite cart thus far so if you guys want to see that man make sure you count you guys comment that down below bro on uh part two of uh, my favorite cart that i left to smoke from man i have a bunch of them right now so it's like it's gonna be a good video and a big video so uh yeah you guys let me know man what you guys want to see bro i hope this video man has answered some of you guys' questions on why I don't like messing with exotic bread, why I haven't been dealing with exotic bread or posting anything with exotic bread. Um, I mean, if you guys feel any type of way or feel the same way, you guys comment that down below. If you guys feel, any, you know, feel different from what I said, you guys, you know, like the brand. I'm not saying that all his trains were bad. It's just some of them I felt like he was doing too much on. I felt like you were, you know, adding too much of something that shouldn't have been, you know, that didn't need that much, you know, addition to it. You know, uh, they, that, didn't, that, that didn't need that many additives to it. Um, so, yeah, you guys let me know what you think about this video, man. Again, like, comment, subscribe. You know, I love each and every one of you guys, man. Y'all know your boy gonna keep it a stack. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with y'all. I ain't got time to sugarcoat, hold nothing in, you know, hold nothing back. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why y'all rocking with me. That's the reason why we rolling and we growing. So, at the end of the day, I love each and every one of y'all again, bro. Peace. We out, man. Yo.